All right, welcome back guys, JC here. And I have made many, many videos on how to manually change the drivers on your flight controllers to make them connect to Betaflight, CleanFlight, and any other configurator. But there is one method that I did leave out and I do apologize for that. Uh, Impulse RC actually makes a driver fixer tool. Uh, it's kind of like a program where it automatically, hopefully fixes what you need and changes the drivers and makes it to where you can connect to these configurators. So if you watch this video and it still does not work and you have not watched my videos on how to manually change drivers, then look in the description below and I'll leave links to those videos. So you can try it that way as well. But hopefully this works for you. So I have gone ahead and manually changed my drivers to the wrong drivers just to prove to you that it does work. So uh, we see here I'm not getting a COM number for my flight controller other than COM1. That's the wrong one, so it's not going to let me connect. Sometimes you will see another COM number and it still will not let you connect. So uh, hopefully this tool will fix that problem as well. So what we want to do is, uh, if you go to dronetrust.com, uh, you know what, don't worry about this link, look in the description below and I'll have this link for you there. Once you come to this page, you want to click on Impulse RC Driver Fixer Tool, download it, and then once you have it downloaded, then unpack it. And once you have it unpacked, I've placed it right here and you should see something that looks like this. So let's go into it. We see here it's fixing the serial ports, entering the bootloader. It's going to do something with the DFU. And success, driver's fixed. Let's close this out. Now, if you uh, have a flight controller with a virtual COM port, then it's going to still be in the DFU, which is the bootloader. So unplug your USB cable, plug your USB cable back in, and now it's not in the bootloader. And you should now be seeing a COM number. I'm seeing COM7. You probably have a different number. It doesn't matter. Uh, now if we try to connect, it connects. So problem fixed. And that's going to do it for this one, guys. So hopefully either this video or my other video where I show you how to manually do it, one of these ways helps you. I really do. Because I am running out of ideas. I know a lot of you guys... Uh, no matter how many videos I make, you still can't connect to beta flight or clean flight. I'm just trying to think outside the box and come up with alternative ways. So hopefully this works. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you again soon.